all the possible candidates of namespace you should not be uh, in a hurry to tell everything is namespace you should first go to the soap response and see whichever has xm lns followed by colon and the name we have only two such things one is yes and one is a so the other two here i and ns1 are not needed for us now so i am removing both of them is everybody understanding why i did this okay star means any value it can be numerical or alphabetical i'm just looking out for the value to come there all right um, okay okay how we know where to use which type of assertion it is a case to case basis once we see assertions we will decide how to under, understand which type of assertion will actually be applicable to your test okay how to get the name spaces here see watch my screen you people are not watching my screen i think please watch my screen the moment i go and click declare here all the possible candidates of namespace will appear okay so if you see here in the soap response you have yes so it has appeared here namespace yes and you have namespace a it has appeared here namespace a and you have one more namespace which does not have a name which is the url of that web service you see here www.restfulwebservices right that url is since it is a possible candidate of a nameless namespace that is xml ns followed by nothing no name it is suggesting that okay i'll just close this again i'm repeating it i request you all to please have a closer look this time okay so have a look here this is namespace 1 which is a perfect named namespace this is namespace 2 which is a perfectly named namespace and this is a namespace which is nothing but the url of that web service a website it does not have a formal name okay other than this we are getting the default w3c uh, uh, encoding style as one of the urls in our namespace okay so i'm just going to do that expat part again this time please have a closer look copy add assertion expat match add i paste it here i replace my rate with a star which means i'm i'm okay with any value alpha numeric any value provided i get a value there i'm okay with it right so now you see here the response have copied from there to here you just have a look at it no you have xml ns yes this is namespace 1 xml ns a this is namespace 2 and you have another namespace called xml ns i which is the w3c xml uh, schema namespace this is not a compulsory one this is a optional one and another one you have a nameless namespace which indicates the url of that particular web service right so this declare button here once you click it it will display all the possible candidates who are potentially your namespace candidates right i click on declare it displays everything whenever i am looking out for a particular value i check for two things if i am looking out for rate i am going to check for the namespace of rate it is a and if i am looking out for a i am going to check for the immediate valid namespace this is not a valid namespace because it does not have a valid name the immediately higher valid namespace is yes so to get the value of rate validated i just need namespaces a and s is everybody understanding this is everybody understanding this is everyone understanding this okay okay yes good 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 yes someone says clear yes good so now i'm saying allow while cards now i'm going to remove this i and the empty namespace which i don't need for now at least for this particular assertion now 
my only concern here is to check if this rate is appearing or not that's all i am not concerned about anything else right i am okay with any value there i am just concerned about whether the rate is appearing here in this response inside the envelope or not the soap envelope here should have any value here but i want that value to be here inside this soap envelope that is all i want to do right so to do that i come here I put a double slash. All x paths start with double slash, and then I am going to check if I am uh, sorry. Uh, I am going to check if this rate is coming here or not. Okay, so I am going to say double slash. Okay, which indicates that I, I am referring to a x path now, right? And then I am going to say. i'm checking if this rate is coming inside this envelope or not okay i'm just going to check if this rate value any value here is coming inside the soap envelope or not so i'm going to say yes which is the namespace of my soap envelope colon oh sorry yes colon envelope this is case sensitive so make sure you give the exact spelling and the exact case of one what this is going to tell is whether my uh, soap envelope has a names uh, has the value rate with any value with this uh, namespace a this is what it is going to tell i am not concerned about what value i get here i am just concerned to see whether my envelope has a soap request which sorry a soap response which has any value for this rate i am i'm just concerned about that okay so now i say save right so now you guys see here for this particular uh, test case the assertion is valid because it is 54.325 now let me just change the inputs and run the test case okay inr usd submit okay why why this why this has failed anyone can tell me can anyone tell me why this assertion has failed can you read out this error message it says expected text value usd but it was inr that is for from currency and similarly for to currency the expected value was inr whereas it was usd instead because right now i have swapped this inr and usd right so to make this assertion generic to make it work for every case of uh, usd or inr i can substitute star here also okay so now one last try now you see that the assertion has automatically become valid now let me try it the other way nirutrai <laughs> you see the assertion is still passed let me swap it once more and run it now you see the assertion still has passed okay so what we did with this x path assertion was we refer to the namespace under which the values we want to be checked okay and we used this envelope as the reference point we are saying that my envelope should contain any wild card values under the sub name space a and i want any value there but i want some value there so now if in case your web service is not working and you are getting a error here this assertion will fail and you will know that your web service has not given a proper input okay if your web service has failed you will not get all this you will just get server error that's it right so whatever you are getting here you can generalize that 
and validate it by using XPath match assertion. Okay. So already we are running out of time. Um, so yes, uh, yes. Uh, some of you have answered for my last question. Okay. 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 So, uh, someone says, what if you have another uh, envelope, will you refer it as envelope of two? A single SOAP message will definitely have only one envelope. We refer it as envelope of one because it is the XPath convention that is used in SOAP UI. Okay. There is nothing very specific about it. Right. So, uh, today let me just give a quick review of what we saw. We just saw about the uh, setting up of a test description at the test suit level and at the test case level. Okay, and we saw how the test, the test case values can be 